What's up guys, Questlow here, and today we are back with uh, more coding in C-sharp. Uh, today we are going to be covering uh, how to manip uh, variables. So we covered variables, what all of them are in the last video, and today we are going to be manipulating uh, and playing around with integers. So yeah, let's do that. So we're going to go ahead and get rid of all of this, and we are going to be making two integers. We're going to call this num. A one and it's gonna be equal to nothing right now and we're we'll gonna make num o two and then we're gonna put uh, another integer which is called is answer like that and we're gonna be making a basic calculator that can add two numbers together all right um just to get you guys, uh, just to get, um, just to get a get a little knowledge, and uh, again, getting your uh, your hands dirty with doing some coding and actual manipulating of variables and using them. So yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and use what we've used before, our console dot right line uh, statement from before, and we're gonna say type in a number. Now we're also going to need a string to take in the user uh, data. So we're going to make a string here and we're going to call it input and it's going to be equal to nothing. Just It's going to be empty right now. It's not quite literally nothing. It's just empty quotation points. There's nothing there. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to take an input. So yeah. We are going to simply go ahead and put uh, input equals console dot uh, read line. I want to read the line and we're going to take a number out of it. So num01 equals uh, convert dot 2 in 32 and we're going to put input in there. And now we have converted this uh, this string here to an in, uh, to a um, to an input. Um, so yeah, we're gonna just simply read the line, and we are gonna convert it into an integer. So if there is any letters in here, this will break. Uh, there are ways to code around that, but we're not gonna worry about that here. We're not we're gonna just be negligent of it. <laughs> it's not gonna really matter here. Um, so yeah, there is num01, and then we're going to simply do console.writeline, and uh, we are going to say type in another number, and then we are going to do input equals console.readline again. And then we are going to set num02 equal to convert dot 2 in 32 on input semicolon at the end can never forget the semicolons and from there we can put console dot right line num01 plus I'm going to put the nice little plus sign in here too. Num02 and then we're going to do a plus symbol again to add these uh, concatenate the numbers and the strings together into one big string that can output to the, the thing the console and we're going to put uh, quotations again and put equals and then we are going to put answer but there is a key point that I had forgotten here we actually need to uh, to make answer. So answer equals num01 plus num02, just like that. And now we have a basic calculator. Uh, it can only take whole numbers, so this isn't going to be able to take any decimal type or anything like that. Uh, it's just going to be converting uh, a simple number in the string to uh, an integer value. It cannot take 1.1 or 2.1 or 3.3 .3 or 
or anything like that. Um, so, yeah, uh, we're going to go ahead and do that. So we're going to wait this, for this to uh, quickly load. We're going to type in uh, a quick number here. So we're going to go 5 plus 3, and 5 plus 3, in fact, equals 8. So there we go. We have a very basic calculator. And if you want to include uh, a decimal, we can quickly do that. So let's make a decimal calculator right under this calculator here. And we're going to make uh, another one. So we're going to go double equals, uh, we're going to put dub 01, or not equals, my bad, I, that's the variable name, <laughs> 01 equals, we're going to just leave it like that, we're going to put double dub 02, we're going to put dub double, and go double, answer, and then we're going to just simply reuse um, oh, we can't put, we're going to put dub answer. I forgot we already had used answer as a variable type. Can't confuse that. Uh, note that you cannot use the same variable types if you already used it before. So, yeah. Um, so, we have dub answer, and now we are going to do console. Right line, type in a decimal. You know, we're going to put non whole number. I'm going to put dub01 equals convert dot to double. I'm going to go input. We also can't forget that we need to set input equals uh, console dot read line like so can't forget that can't forget the parentheses there either um and we're gonna make the same we're gonna do the same thing here again equals console dot read line quickly put up here console dot right line type and another oh i forgot my quotation marks type and another non full number. I'm going to go ahead and go down here and put dub02 equals convert dot to double input just like that. And then we're going to put dub answer equals dub o not not that you want it equaling itself dub01 plus dub02. And now we're going to quickly display that. So we're going to do console dot right line dub01 plus o2 plus dub answer and now we have effectively used uh doubles now to do the very same thing that we just did up here so now we can go ahead and do that and you can type in a number so we're going to do uh four plus nine that does in fact equal 13 and we're going to type in a non-whole number so we're going to go uh, 0.89 um, and we're going to do point, we'll just do some ridiculous number, and there we go. So that looks to be 100% right. Um, so we have, in fact, made a whole number calculator and a non-whole number calculator using doubles and integers. And I'm going to leave you guys with a challenge for the next video to extend this to multiplying and dividing. I'll quickly show you the, the multiply and divide sim, uh, thing for code. So if you want to multiply something, uh, you simply just use that. So just like that, if you want to multiply, and you can't forget to make sure that your answer equals the two numbers that 
you are multiplying. So, yeah. You know, we'll just multiply it by itself. There we go. It's going to be the same thing. There we go. So, yeah. Um, that's how you multiply. And for divide, you simply just use this one. So, my challenge for you is to make a calculator that can not only multiply, uh, that can not only add and subtract, um, but it can multiply and divide. Also, you could just continue it on right below here. It'll just ask you to add, add, um, and multiply and divide. Uh, you can also, um, and I'm also including here, I'll make a subtraction one too. So, make, um, just choose a, choose a, a variable type that you want to use um, for your calculator here and uh, make a subtract calculator, a multiply calculator, and a divide calculator. Um, on a side note here, I just quickly want to show you that you can also type in whole numbers into doubles and it will still also output a, non, uh, a whole number here. It doesn't always need to have a decimal point, just so you know. Um, so if you want to make your calculator more accurate, um, you can use doubles instead of integers. So that way you can include not only whole numbers, but also non-whole numbers also. So yeah, um, I'm gonna leave you guys to it. If you guys like the video, leave a like, comment if you have any questions or any comments on the video. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next video. And also uh, consider subscribing. Uh, thank you, and I'll see you in the next video.